Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I am here to do a little video um, for a very wonderful lady. Hi Rachel. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm going to be making um, a little envelope thing that you can put in your journal. We used to make these for mini albums and uh, so you just take one envelope and you tuck it inside of another. Oh, Sorry, Pasha's over here playing with paper stacks. He likes to like see if he can get under the paper stacks. And it's it's very helpful, you know, when cats do that. So anyway, and I got paper stacks everywhere because I've got all kinds of stuff that I brought to work on these with. They're only two tiny envelopes, but I have mountains of stuff. So anyway, <laughs> um, you just stick one of the envelope tabs inside of the other envelope and then the other one's just loose and you just glue it down. So that's not hard. I know like we've all done stuff like this. I used to do these for many albums when I was doing more scrapbooking stuff. Like here's one that I have that it has three envelopes stuck in together. But this one I just want to do two so that you can take it and put it on um, you know, either side of a signature kind of a thing. Just sew it in with the signature and, you know. I think I may have done something like this before. I don't know. I can't remember. I've got quite a few videos now and and I wouldn't know which one. And so I just said I would do another one. <clears throat> so anyway, if you've seen it before, go ahead and craft something that you like to craft. And, um, you know, you can just craft along with me. Uh, so anyways, I have my digital kit that I made not too long ago um, that I showed. I just collaged like all different papers and things together and then I scanned it into the computer and turned it into a digi kit. So this is in my Etsy shop and you get four um, pages that can be folded in half like this to make journal pages. So they're already, you know, they're set in that uh, direction so that you can fold them in half for that or you can just use them for whatever obviously and there's four of these type of collaged page pages or no five sorry I was thinking it was four there's five and then two pages that have ephemera type stuff on them so there's envelope and tags and like a piece of lace and this is a piece of lace that is real and I just put it on there. This is not um, a digital kit that was made all on a computer and then printed out. It's It was all handmade first and then um, just scanned into the computer. So it is really old vintage papers and I talked about this when I showed it the first time. So some of it is a little more faded than other pieces of it and because um, it's an old magazine I have and here's a piece of the magazine and like you can see there's this teeny speck of pink right here that's actually paint that's on the magazine but I loved this uh, design and that paper is just crumbling and falling apart and this is another piece of it with the design on it and um, this is wallpaper vintage wallpaper so is that and then some of these things I just found on Pinterest. And I did mention the first time I talked about this digital kit that you might want to do shrink to fit for the two ephemera pages when you print it out. I did not. And so you can see here, like, I mean, it doesn't get cut off a lot. It's no big deal. But it's just these things are, like, right up to the edge. So if you want a little more room, then you may want to do the shrink to fit when you print the ephemera pages out. So that's just your own personal preference. Anyway, that's what I'm going to use today to cover these envelopes. And so again, you just slide one tab inside of the first envelope and then you have one loose tab. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on that. Oops. <laughs> Made Pasha jump. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We had a wonderful weekend with our family, but it was a little bit tough. Um, one of our high school students committed suicide over the weekend. And so I would really want to just say, if you are feeling at all suicidal, or you know, you may be worried that your kids are, or anything like that just don't forget that there's helplines and there's people who want to help you and there's people who love you so much and um, please just 
please try to get some help. I know that there's so many circumstances in life that make people feel like that, and I know that sometimes it's overwhelming. My family has um, had this issue happen in our family as well, so I just really want to say, please talk to somebody. Um, somebody in your family, a close friend, um, a friend's parents, um, a counselor at school, just anything so that somebody can get you help because if nobody knows that there's something wrong it's really hard for anybody to help you get through that and I know I mean I don't know because I haven't you know had that problem fortunately but I understand because it has happened in my family so um, I just really want to encourage especially the kids uh, it's just so hard to even talk about you know it's so hard you don't want people to get mad at you or um, not understand or look at you like you're crazy or whatever but trust me those people would be so much happier to talk to you about whatever you feel is going on than to lose you from their lives because that I mean there's no replacing there's no there's no coming back from that there's no it's not a temporary thing it, it isn't a fix it and it's completely devastating on people that are left and I'm not saying that you should live your life for other people or do things just because other people want you to or don't want you to or whatever that's not what I'm saying I'm not saying you should be miserable at the you know just so that other people aren't but I just really want people to understand the huge impact that that has on others and I mean, it's a struggle that I know they're facing and they feel they can't deal with anymore. But um, what you leave in the wake of that is also extremely devastating. So maybe if you can get help, you may be able to feel better and you may be able to get through it and you may be able to live a long, happy life, which is what all of us would want for anyone especially a, a young person I mean I'm not saying that it's okay for anybody you know or like that anybody should do that I'm just saying please if you could get some help please please try to talk to people and um, get some help so anyways because there's people that will understand and are willing to help you and you know will do whatever they can to help you and and just want you to be in their lives so um, sorry I'll I'll stop now because I know it's not a, a super happy thing but I think it's something we all need to be aware of because lots and lots of people struggle with depression and um, and we don't even know you know we think that they're happy and they're not happy so I just really wish that we could talk more about these things and just make it okay for people to come out and say hey this is the way that I'm feeling about this or for whatever reason I feel like this I just really want people to get help just please because it it is a, an awful awful thing for everybody and I'm not saying it's not awful for the person going through it I understand that that is obviously that they are feeling in a bad bad way so just please talk to somebody and let people help you and and try to you know do something to make your life feel better for yourself and everybody involved so that you can continue to live and grow and I mean it, it's just very difficult so anyway I'll stop now <laughs> um so yeah I, but I hope everybody had a had a good weekend. I know there were some other tragedies that happened this weekend and my prayers go out to all those people who have had to suffer because it really is not a time for suffering. It's a time for um, rebirth and growth and just new beginnings and all of that. So that's what we should all focus on. That'd be awesome if we could do that and be kind and really try to help people and think about people around you and maybe how they're feeling so anyways what we do with this 
if you haven't done one before is I'm going to actually go ahead and cut those. I should have done that before I inked it, but I was on my, on my soapbox. So let's see here. I'm just going to trim a little teeny sliver off of each end of this so that it can be a pocket still because you're going to end up gluing all the opening portions closed. So you just want to cut off a very small sliver so that the envelope has an opening spot. So you can put some cool tags or um, journaling cards or whatever you want in it. So I can get my fingers in there. I may have not cut enough. That's why I'm checking. So see, this is how this works. that and then you may like see in there how there's that extra flap that we put in um, you're probably going to want to put a little glue on that just so when you're putting your um, journaling card or whatever and you're not hitting that the whole time and you can do that before you tuck it in there too that might be an easier way I just did it backwards but before you tuck it in for good put a little glue on it and I'm just going to squeeze my hand in here and put some glue on this to get the edge as well as I can so that it sticks down and doesn't get caught on everything. So see I've just put glue on that flap and I'm going to just glue it straight down inside so it won't get caught on things when you're putting them in and out of these side pockets. And just get some ink around these edges just so you lose that super white, white, white thing. Unless, you know, if you're doing more of a um, not a vintage look and you want that white, then keep it. And you don't have to worry about inking. Or if you're going to just entirely cover it, which probably most of mine is going to get covered, but I just really like the edges to be inked. But that's, again, all personal preference. Okay. Did I get that not very flat? Or is it just because of the... I just felt like there's a bubble in there, and I'm not sure why. I guess I didn't pull it down great, but anyway. Yeah, see, I got a bubble right there because I did something weird. All right, but you're not going to see that because you're going to glue your other pieces of paper down. Um, just don't put any glue where this opening is because if you glue this sheet of paper, the whole thing, and you glue it down on here, your pocket's only going to open like this much, okay? So make sure when you put the glue on that you just put the glue right on these spots and around here. Don't put any glue right there. I'm going to use a glue stick to do this. I just have these old glue sticks. I don't have anything fancy. I know I should probably get some other ones, but I want to use these up first. I don't use a ton of glue sticks because they're really just not my favorite, but they are good for collaging, I have discovered. I'm going to put a little bit of this along the edge just to make sure that it sticks down really well. It is a little bit better because you don't get wrinkling as much and I know like Fabri-Tac but as I've talked about I can't stand Fabri-Tac it just for something about the feeling of it on my hands it drives me crazy so I don't like to use Fabri-Tac I'm probably the only person in the world but you know I told you guys don't put glue on that and I did it the whole thing my brain is scattered it's just been a, a crazy weekend but I really wanted to do this because it is very relaxing so and I think I probably hung that over a little so I'm gonna I'll just trim along there and I'll get a different piece to put on the inside to show you since I did exactly what I said not to do maybe I'll use the lady I'll make it a little bit wider Alright, so 
I just need to focus. <laughs> my focus needs more focus, as I tell my son quite often. I just want to do like right there. So yeah, we had a very nice brunch yesterday morning with my husband's parents and my sister, and it was wonderful. My um, in-laws just got back from Europe. They had a wonderful time, and um, I'm so excited for them because they've never been, I've never been, so like, it's just really cool. They really had a fantastic time. They got to see so many amazing, amazing things. And they brought back pictures, so that's kind of what we did yesterday. We watched, you know, flipped through pictures and all that. So that was really fun to do. I've got all kinds of, like, um, I printed out some antique paper that I thought might go good with these two, same colorways. So I think I'm going to use some of that. I really have no idea what I'm going to do, guys. And I apologize for not being a little more organized. But like I said, it's been busy and I just haven't had a chance. And I just really wanted to come on today. So a craft craft with me may be better than <laughs> a tutorial at this point in time. Since I can't focus very well right now. But... Crafting is my therapy, so that's what I want to do today. And that is definitely something to think about if um, anyone's having problems or issues. Try to do more of what you love, and then hopefully that will help you as well. Putting a few of these around and you're not going to see a lot of this so I didn't get right there but it's not really going to matter it's just going to have something around the edges so that um, if I don't get every little inch covered it's not going to be a dilemma so you can just get a little bit of that and I want some of these blue flowers because they're very pretty I love this antique paperia she has so many and her prices I don't even know how she does it because like I said I have my digi kits on my um, Etsy shop and her prices are just so good I don't know how she does has them so inexpensive on there because by the time you you know pay Etsy and make it and do all that. I mean, it's all very time consuming and not exactly cheap either. So, and have the Photoshop because it's a monthly fee for Photoshop. I mean, maybe she uses something else. I have no idea. I don't, I, I'm just learning how to do this whole thing. So I am definitely no expert and I don't know a lot about what everybody uses or anything. So yeah, these are super fun. I was thinking it would be fun to do a um, series of videos and kind of do some of the old things from scrapbooking or, you know, other crafting type things that we forget about along the line. And, um, because, and also there's some people that may not have done any scrapbooking ever and don't, or, you know, didn't make m many albums or you know stuff like that you always think everybody knows what you know and and you think it's all old news but often people haven't done the same crafting things and so it's all actually new to them so I thought it might be kind of fun to do like a oldies something I don't know not that this is that old I mean many albums haven't like been around super super long but it's just kind of fun to to do some of these things again you know like revisit some of it I think I want like some old paper or something
maybe a piece of this again. It's just so falling apart, but it is yellowed really nicely. And it just has some cool images. But I think I'm just going to use like some of the words or maybe a little bit of this right here. Can you guys see? Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure I wasn't out of the. I called this digital kit 1923 because I did get a lot of the images um, out of this. It's like an embroidery magazine from 1923. So I just thought that would be kind of fun. So I think I will put this one on. I might take a little bit more of this white off, except I don't want to lose that. Let's see here what we can do. I don't know, I'm probably just going to have to lose that. I can use it somewhere else. I want to see this and I want this edge to be a little more torn. I probably should have used, I don't want to rip those pink flowers off though. I should have used my tearing, the one with the, the not straight edge. And you don't have to, if you don't like the torn and the um, like the old vintagey kind of a look, you don't have to do this. You can just cut them or whatever on your cutter. And you could even just do one solid piece on here. You don't have to do a bunch of different pieces. I just really want, I want the torn look, but I don't want to lose these flowers entirely. But I'm probably going to lose a lot of it. Some water would have helped, but of course I don't have that with me right now. <laughs> And I'm not going to go get it. But I think this is fine. So, yeah, I, like I said, I always think people um, have done the same crafting things that I have done. And, and it's, it's nice to be able to revisit some of these things that you haven't done in a, in a bit. Because there's people starting every day, and I've gotten some new subscribers recently, and I thank you guys. You guys are awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you for liking what I do enough to join my little channel. And come back and see me. And some of you are amazing. You always comment on my videos, and you don't know how much I appreciate that. I really, really do, because I really check and, you know, see if people have questions or whatever so I just really appreciate it when you guys comment and some of you are amazing you always are always there and I really appreciate that I think it's awesome I think I'm gonna put this piece down here like this so I just have to remember not to put glue <laughs> right here <laughs> on this so I think I'll put it on the envelope that way maybe I'll do better we'll see <laughs> no guarantees I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon because like I said you guys amazing so I just want to give back to you and thank you for being there and watching and talking to me and all that it's awesome I never thought I would have really hardly any subscribers I didn't even think I would be doing this this long because I thought people would just be like oh whatever she just makes stuff <laughs> it seems like so many of the people that are popular on YouTube it's stuff that I you know clearly I'm not I'm not super outgoing or silly or like, you know, so many of the videos that you watch. So what I'm doing right now, and, and you guys have seen me do this before, I like to take this old paper and just kind of squish it, push it together and kind of fold it and push it down into the glue. That's just um, something I like to do to give a little texture 
and it's not something you have to do at all. You can just glue that straight down and not worry about it ever again. But I just like to, I just like that about this really thin old paper. It just kind of, it just does that cool. So, anyways, not like curled right there. I like that. I like it when it's not all perfectly because that's, you know, all this old stuff, that's really the way it is. It's just wrinkled and old and rolling in spots and tearing in spots, and I just really like that. So I've got glue on my fingers. Hold on just a second. I'm going to take this little thingy that I have and just, I think I'll do... I don't have one that has 1923. I just have this one from the um, early 2000s. So I think I will put it on. Oops, that's not right. Sorry, you have to be smarter than the. Um, Thing. I'm going to do June 23, even though it's not, it's meant to be the 23rd. It's I don't know what is caught in here. Some kind of something. Since I don't have 1923, I'll just do that. Just for fun. Okay, so there's that side. Then I'm going to do a couple stamps over here as well. It was kind of an odd Easter. Um, my kids are getting bigger now, obviously, and um, so we usually always do Easter eggs. And I think this is the first year they just were sort of like, "No, mom, we don't. You know, we're not interested in doing Easter eggs." So it was like, "Oh yeah, I guess you probably aren't." <laughs> it's just funny when those things change. I mean, they would probably do it just for to be silly with friends, but yeah, that was. Kind of crazy when you run out of all those things, Easter egg hunts and doing all those things. So what have you guys been making? I love to hear about it. And if you've been making something cool and I don't know about your channel or whatever, I would love to um, hear about it and I'll go check it out. So if you have a channel. I don't always know. I mean, I do try to check when I get a subscriber if if I know, you know, because some people say that they have subscribed or whatever, and others it's private. If I know, I will see if they have videos. But so I just want to make sure. I did put some glue at the very end here just because I don't want things to like go all the way through. So I just wanted to make sure that that was still opening right and everything. But, yeah, that's good. I, think I like this piece. Here and then maybe some more antique papery. <sighs> Let's see. I like this piece right here. That goes really well with this stuff. Not crazy about the green for this though, so I think I'm gonna tear it here. Maybe my tearing ruler. What I do with it? There it is. So I get those edges. Almost to the end of the school year. I cannot believe it's already time for that. It's crazy. It's 
anybody have any fun plans for summer? We haven't really even really had a chance to think about it. My husband just got back from Nashville, and that was, that was a work thing. So I don't know that we're taking any trips at all this summer. My daughter mentioned yesterday that um, it seems like we used to take more trips when we were little, she said, Mom. And it's like, yeah, I guess we kind of did. I don't know why it's changed, but I keep carrying it weird because I'm not holding it tight enough. But it's fine. She was talking about we've been we took the kids to Hawaii one one time and um, she was saying how she barely remembers and I'm like that that kind of stinks. Um, so she's going to graduate from high school next year, not this year. So maybe we could do something like that again. That would be kind of fun. I do love it there. It's beautiful. My husband's also been talking about you know, eventually maybe like going to Ireland or Scotland or, you know, some places in Europe because we've never been. And after my mother and father-in-law had come back and they loved it, they're like, you guys really should go sometime if you can. The biggest thing, of course, is money. <laughs> so love to go lots of places but life is what it is so, but maybe eventually we'll get to do that that would be fun tell me some of your favorite places to go because I always like to hear what people do and where they go and some people travel all the time, and I'm kind of a homebody. I think that's because that's sort of the way I grew up. We just we didn't do a lot of traveling when I was a kid. It was just my dad and my sister and I. And so I thought, ooh, so sorry. For whatever reason, we just didn't travel a whole lot. But um, I guess that's why I don't sometimes think about traveling because we just didn't do a lot of it. But it is fun to hear people's favorite places and what they like to do there and stuff. So I like these old ads. They're so cool. Or the old like vintage sewing stuff. It's all super fun. I don't know if I want that on that side. Maybe I want to switch sides like this because I feel like I've got her there. I, I kind of want to spread it out a little. I mean, it's not going to matter because you're going to have pages in here, I guess, anyway, to separate those. You're, they're not going to be right next to each other, but I'll just do it that way <laughs> now that I switched it around. Because you'll have signature pages, unless you put it right in the middle of your signatures. If you stitched it in right in the center, then you would see the whole layout together. So that's always a possibility. I think my favorite time periods to like look at for this type of thing are like I love Victorian stuff obviously because that's oops, I have one of these open right here and um, the 20s it's just super neat I love all those images I'm just going to cover this pretty much entirely with glue and I will put another little strip at the back again because that is good so that stuff doesn't go all the way through. Not that it probably would, especially once it's sewn in, it's not gonna, stuff isn't gonna go through, but I just did it more as a protective kind of a thing. Oh, put too high up again. Keep doing that.
So yeah, and I would love if you guys have any suggestions of um, other things you'd like to see on my channel. Um, I know my viewership is down quite a bit, and I don't know if that's just, it's nice, nice weather now and stuff like that. But if there's something that you guys would like to see, or, you know, feel like I need to do better at, I would really love, love, love to know, because um, it just helps, you know. I don't want to be doing stuff that people are bored with or whatever. So I'm I'm up for constructive criticism. <laughs> I know that the weather's gotten nice, so I totally get it. I haven't and I just haven't had time either with Easter and just life in general lately, so I get it. I have not been watching a whole lot of anything. But I just am curious if there's anything that you know, I can do better at. We all have room to grow for sure. do a little glue across the top too since it's going to be touching that other piece that's the only tricky part about doing these especially in pieces I use when I used to do albums I would um, just take a whole piece of scrapbook paper you know what I did it look at you guys I still put that over there even after I said I was gonna not do that so I guess I definitely won't be putting that in the middle of a signature it will go two separate places so that it looks like this kind of a thing you know you're only going to see one side or the other that was silly of me after all that the old brain does what it wants to do I'm telling you all right so that works and now I'll do more to this side I'm not sure what all I want to do on there I have these I really like these I found these on Pinterest I just love the, um, it's like the everyday look, you know, instead of the quite as fancy look. And I like it. I think it's cool. So let's see, let's get this piece off. I know it's easy to tear the bigger piece. I just forget and then do it wrong. I want this. glue stuck on my fingers and then that needs some ink because it's awfully stark white I hate it when I do that <laughs> put that thing down and I get a circle on there that drives me nutty the only thing about these it's almost like they should be a odd edge or something you know what I mean almost like the deckled edge on those so that when you set it down it doesn't make that perfect circle. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. I mean it's my own fault. I know it does that and I still do it all the time. You'd think you'd learn. something down here something colorful because this is this is kind of cool though you could um, journal on that little part right there so let's see what have we got I'm going to tear that one I've got a piece of the wallpaper this is just uh, from the digital I just took it off kind of like the little flowers
Yeah, I really like finding old stuff at antique stores and then scanning it, and especially that um, 1923 embroidery magazine because clearly that's not something... I mean, I'm, of course there were other copies of it. I just mean once it's gone, it's gone because it's just disintegrating completely. Let's see. How far down? Because I don't want to cover up the whole... Look at what I just did. Got that glue on there. Um, I think I'm just going to take off a little bit more of this. And then I'll ink it after I get it down. I just want to see the blue flowers. I don't want to cover them up entirely with the lady. Like this is taking me forever today. Sorry. <laughs> if it's too boring, just fast forward or whatever you need to do, I understand. I don't like it when I get glue on there. I'm gonna come off now. like that. And I kind of feel scattered. See, that's what happens when I don't do a video for a few days. I just realized I didn't do any stamping or anything on the edge of this one. And that I need to do something else with because there is paper there. It's covered. It's just that it looks like it's missing something. So let's see. Do I have any? Flowers. Oh, my sister made me some new flowers this weekend, too. I think those really work. One. And I like it because it's little. That would kind of work. Sorry, I'm just looking through my stuff trying to find. My sister made me a bunch of these. And she made a new one. That I really like. Oh, this one. She made it out of thread, like instead of the um, embroidery, you know, the regular like embroidery or not embroidery, crochet flossing stuff. She made it out of actual thread. There's a pink one. I like that or that better. I can put a little pearl in the middle of that. That might help. I think I want to use these. I'm just going to do take this and touch it a little so it's not quite, I mean, it's very, very pink. There, just to dirty it up a little. <laughs> but I love this thread. It's so nice and thin. I was like, oh yeah, you got to make more of those. Those are cool. So thank you, Megan. Here's one of my pearls. It's sticky, but it won't ever stick to that for very long. Oh, what did I just do? It got away. problem with those. They're slippery on the top. Slippery little suckers. And 
I do put quite a bit of glue on the back because that um, yarn will just suck up that glue. So I want to make sure it stays there. And I really push down on it too and get any of the glue that oozes out. All right, and I'm going to let that dry a little. And then I'm going to flip it over because it'll be able to sit on there like that. And then while I think about what I'm going to put on the back, I think on the back I'm going to use some of this. This is some of the wallpaper that I used in the digital kit. It's just scanned. I really like this print. It's very pretty. Oops. I'm just going to knock that camera a million times today, I think. I'm trying to figure out what direction I want this. I think I'm just going to do a strip. ladies. How much of this do I need? Let's go over a little bit and get a little bit of that pink. Ah, that's good. Let's see if I was smart, I would have stamped the whole thing first because now I've got that pearl on the front, so that's going to be interesting. I'm telling you, my brain is not in it today at all. It is in La La Land somewhere. kids. We had a um, fundraiser for band this weekend and uh, that was fun. It was called Hot Cakes and Cool Jazz and so the kids play jazz music and we make hot cakes and sausages and juice and stuff for everybody. <laughs> it's kind of an odd combo I know but it's it's really just to raise money and we have like a silent auction and all kinds of cool stuff so the kids had fun at that which was very nice. I'll use this too. I forgot I had these sitting here. Just little funny stamps. But um, anyway, so we went a pie at that which that was very helpful for yesterday. I had a nice berry pie to have with, uh, well, a while after brunch because we were all full. But um, that was super nice. And the kids, they start off with the younger kids playing and then the high school kids and then they have the alumni, like kids that have played for our school in the past that are in college now come back and play. And I mean, they all were superb. I cannot believe how well those kids play. But man, by the time they're in college, it is like, wow. They're so talented, you know, the ones that keep playing and have all those years behind them are very talented. I'm not very musically inclined. I did play the saxophone for a very brief period of time in high school, 
But um, my daughter is very musically inclined. She plays the cello and the flute and the piano. She can play the guitar a little bit. So she she just loves anything music. And my son also plays. He plays percussion, and he's gotten pretty darn good. But his interests are computers and things of that nature. So that will most likely be the area that he seeks out in the future. But it was just super fun to do. I think I need another piece of that magazine. My kids don't play in jazz band, so they just helped serve, because it's like a fundraiser for all of our bands, and so they like served pancakes and all that type of thing, but they still get to hear the music and be part of all of it, and they had a good time doing that. So that was a good happy, happy point for the weekend. like this writing and this paper it just feels good it's so soft because it's so old and these pieces are good because they don't have to be glued down any funny way they just need to get glued down This one isn't even yellowed that much. I mean, it is compared to regular white paper, but it's just the edge really right there that's yellowed. I think I'll put a little bit more on that. And that one I didn't squish or anything, but I could have for sure. I think I will put another June 23 on there just for the fun of it. And maybe a little washi. Just kind of needs a little something on there. Purple lace. <laughs> I don't think it needs purple lace. This piece of um, washi has my cat hair on it. Imagine that. Tear, tore that section off. I, I, I know it's hard to believe that his fur would be on anything, right? Let's see, maybe a little blue. I always forget to use washi, so I'm trying to leave it here on my table so that I see it more and use it more because Denise gave me all this beautiful washi and I am horrible about using it. I think I just forget. It's not like a intentional thing. Intentional. I just forget to use it. It just doesn't want to. I know it's one of these edges here. There we go. I probably should have put a little glue on that other one. Put a little on this one. I always forget that part too. It's just nice because it adds a little color here and there. Maybe we'll put a little on the inside too. Somewhere. Oh, well, I guess we're just having a tiny piece <laughs> since I just like ripped it off. I'll just kind of put it on the corner right there. 
So there we go. It's as easy as that. And then now you've got some nice, well, if you don't glue them together, you've got nice pockets. Um, nice pockets right here and right here. And then it'll just go on either side of a page. And this one I just printed, ay, ay, ay. I just printed a piece of that same, uh, it's not a doily, but like tablecloth with the embroidery. There's printed of that on the inside of this piece. So yeah, I think that'll be fun in there. So I hope that helped. Um, and if there's anything else you want to see, or if you have ideas for like that oldies um, thing, like something that I may not have remembered or whatever, just let me know because I would love to like maybe we could think of ways to revamp some things from scrapbooking to journaling or um, other craft techniques into journaling. So anyway, just an idea and let me know what you think. I will see you all later and I hope you have an awesome day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.